So foul. Fair a day I have not seen. <laughs> what a beast so withered and so wild in the retire that look not like the heavens so the earth and yet are on it? Speak, if you can, what are you? Hearts and seem to fear things that do sound so fair. <laughs> if you can look into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not, speak then to me. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth, yet greater. Not so happy, too much happier. Thou shalt get king, though thou be none. So all hail Macbeth and Banquo. Banquo and Macbeth, all hail! Perfect speakers, tell me more. By Shinel's death, I know I am Thane of Glamis, but how of Caldor? The Thane of Caldor lives! Whether are they vanished? Into the air. Were such things here as we do speak about? Or have we eaten on the insane roots that take the reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings. You shall be king. And Thane of Caldor, too, went it not so? Uh, to the self-same tune in words. <laughs> Who's here? The king hath happily received Macbeth, the news of thy success. We are sent to give thee from our royal master thanks. And for earnest of a greater honor, he has bade me from him call thee Thane of Caldor. Can the devil speak true? The Thane of Caldor lives. Why do you dress me in borrowed robes? Who was the Thane lives yet, but under heavy judgment bears that life which he deserves to lose. Whether he was combined with those of Norway or did line the rebels with health and vantage, I know not. But capital treason, confessed and proved, he has been overthrown. Lamis and Thane of Caldor, the greatest is behind. Do you not hope your children shall be kings? When those that gave the Thane of Caldor to me promised no less to them. That trusted home might yet enkindle you into the crown besides the Thane of Caldor. But tis strange and oftentimes to win us to our harm. The instruments of darkness tell us truths, win us with honest trifles, to betrays in deepest consequence. Banquo, a word I pray you. Two truths are told as happy prologues to the swelling act of the imperial theme. Cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why hath it given me earnest of success? Commencing in a truth, I am Thane of Cador. <laughs> if good, why do I yield to that suggestion? Whose horrid image doth unfix my hair and make my seated heart knock at my ribs? Against the use of nature? The present fears are less than horrible imaginings. My thought, whose murder is yet but fantastical shakes. So my single state of man, that function is smothered in surmise. And nothing is but what is not. Look, how our partner's wrapped. <laughs> If chance will have me king, 
why chance may crown me without my stir. New horrors come upon him. Like our strange garments, cleave not to their mold, but with the aid of use. Come what come may. Time and hour run through the roughest day. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. Give me your favor. My dull brain was wrought with things forgotten. <laughs> Let us toward the king. Think upon what hath chanced, and at further time the interim, having waited. Let us speak our free hearts, each to other. Very gladly. Till then enough. Come, friends. <laughs> 